This question says, express the following inequality statements algebraically. Now there are two words you must understand in this sentence. The first one is inequality. We know inequality deals with stuff like is less than, is greater than, is equal to, and algebraically deals with algebra. And anytime we're dealing with algebra, we're going to be dealing with letters and numbers. Now before we begin, I'm just going to write out the five inequality symbols we might use. The first one is going to be is greater than symbol. The second one is going to be is less than. The third one is going to be is equal to. The fourth one is going to be is less than or equal to. And the final one is going to be is greater than or equal to. Now that we have our inequality symbols, let's begin. So the first part of A says W is more than 37. So we know we're going to have a variable, which is this letter W. So we're going to write W is more than. When we see is more than, which symbol do you think we should use? Well, we should use the greater than symbol because we know W is more than. Therefore, W is going to be greater than. So we can say W is greater than 37. Now for part B, it says X is smaller than twice Y. So we have the variable X. And it says is smaller than twice Y. For the three words is smaller than, which symbol do you think is most appropriate? Is smaller than, we shouldn't use the greater than symbol. Is less than, that seems to work. What about equals? No. What about is less than or equal to? No, that wouldn't work either because it says it is smaller than. And finally, we have is greater than. We know this one won't work because it's greater than. So the only symbol that can possibly work is going to be the is less than symbol. So we can say x is less than twice y. What does twice y mean? Well, twice means 2. So we're going to write 2. And we have the variable y. So we're just going to write 2y. So is smaller than is going to be represented by the is less than symbol. z is at least 23. We have the variable z. When we see z is at least 23, which symbol do you think best applies? All right, now let's look at our symbols. We can say z is greater than 23. Yes and no, it's not the most appropriate symbol to use. What about the is less than symbol? So we can say z is less than 23. No, that wouldn't, that wouldn't work. What about equal to? We can say z is equal to 23. Well, that can kind of work, but it won't be the best symbol to use. Now we have is less than or equal to. So we can say z is less than or equal to 23. Not really. Finally, we have is greater than or equal to. We can say z is greater than or equal to 23. And that seems to be the best fit. So we're just going to write z is greater than or equal to 23. So it is important when you read these questions that you understand what it is saying. So for part A, it says W is more than 37. So even though it didn't say greater than, we know more means greater. We must be able to understand the words. It is very important that we read a question and understand what it's asking for. For part B, it says X is smaller than twice Y. So we know X is smaller, which means it is less than twice Y. We know twice is going to be 2, and we have the variable Y. So we put is less than 2Y. And for part C, we have Z is at least 23. So because we know it is at least 23, it can be equal to 23, or z can be greater than 23 because it is at least 23. 